Hello, and welcome to the Z-Hut. Today, we're going to figure out how you can use a Bluetooth connection on multiple screens in an MIT App Inventor app. Now, as you know, if you have multiple screens and you switch between them, it drops the Bluetooth connection when you switch from one screen to the other. Well, I know how you can fix that. It's called virtual screens. Instead of having multiple screens, you have one, but what you have to do is toggle the visibility of what you have on the screen. <coughs> Sorry about that. Now, I have a little cough. Um, I'm going to bring up my uh, emulator here and I'm going to click. I've already knocked um, this MIT app up really quick and just show you. Well, you click button one. Imagine this is your list picker for your Bluetooth connection. Well, you click it. Well, then it goes away. Well, you can click back, it brings you back to it. Or you can click on the other one. I have button two, and I'll go back. Button three, well, then back. You cannot keep your Bluetooth connection between screens. On MIT App Inventor, it's impossible. That's just how they have it set up. But what you can do is run virtual screens. So once you've connected, you can, you know, click your buttons and all that stuff. And what we're doing is we're changing the visibility of what's on the screen. So I'll show you here and we'll close the emulator. Bring you to the blocks. Now, the button one, which I had on the designer, button one right there, when that's clicked, it turns the button one visibility to false. And then you see, and I had a couple other buttons, button two and three, it turns their visibility to true. And then this label, and this label, and then this is the back button, they, they're all changed. Um, they're all the true. Now, if you click the back button, it reverses that. It puts the button one back to true, button two to false, button three to false, button six to false, label two to false. It's, it's that's how it works. You're doing virtual screens and it's easy. Um, you just work your way down when you're in the designer. Uh, we'll turn the hidden components on here. You just work your way down. You know, that's the first thing that comes in the app. Then you work your way down and just choose, you know, like this isn't showing up right away. As you can see, it's not visible. I change that to visible, it'd be shown when the app first starts up. But when we go back to the blocks, you can see it's not. That's how easy this is to do. And I've seen a lot of stuff on the internet. People wondering, oh, I want to have multiple screens with Bluetooth connectivity and especially with like Arduino projects. This is handy and if you watched any of my other videos, I have um, a few apps for Arduino stuff. And if you click a connect button, it then disappears. Instead of having a connect button and a disconnect button, you don't have to have that on the screen at the same time. It's just, well, button one would be the connect. Then button two would be the disconnect. And you just do this. You got to use the visibility. 
and that's all there is to it. Um, there is one other way I have come across on how to have Bluetooth between multiple screens, and this one actually will work between multiple screens, but the thing is, is when you connect, it saves the address. Then when you change pages to another screen, it disconnects and reconnects. Now that can bring problems and issues. So I would recommend this way of doing it. It's way easier, way simpler. You just use the visibility um, for what you have in your home page. It's all visible. And then when you click on a button or something, you just put them all false. And then everything you want page two to be, you put true. It's easy. It's really easy. And that's all you have to do. Well, I know this is a real quick tutorial, but I seen some stuff on the internet, people wondering about how to do this. So thought I'd shoot a quick, quick video on how to do it. Hope you found this information useful. If you did, please give uh, give me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. Thanks for joining us here at the Z Hut today. Hope to see you again.